So Bruce, let's just start, what is the mission of Partnerships for Forests? You know, what is your work um, at this organization about? Yes, so Partnership for Forests is a new initiative. We just launched in June. And our mandate is to help find early to mid to late stage ideas that can lead to leveraging investment for more sustainable land use and forest management. And we're trying to do that by looking for public-private partnerships. And you have a session later on today at the Global Landscapes Forum. Um, what is your take-home message for people who will be listening in, you know, who might not be able to attend? What is uh, the kind of key you know, right, discussion? Right, right. So um, I think the key message is that uh, forests are key to the climate change agenda, and they're also key to uh, economic development, particularly in rural uh, economies. So our particular take on it is how do we bring investment as a lever and as a force for positive change. We've had a lot of discussion on uh, policy, and we've had a lot of discussion about what the state can do, but really what we need to do is to complement that with how do we leverage the power of investment and really use that as a driver for more sustainable models of economic development. What do you think, Bruce, what are some of the challenges or roadblocks to getting that investment? You know, it's starting, but it seems that it's still not at its full potential. What might be stopping it? Yeah, well, so um, contrary to the popular belief, the investment's already there. The challenge is that the predominant model that we use for development uh, only values forests after they're cut down, burnt, and turned into something else. So the trick is how do we shift that development model? How do we reform the capital investment that's already there as a force for keeping forest on the landscape? And how do we broaden the uh, investment model to one of shared benefit, where we look at not only the commercial viability, which is key to driving economic development, but doing that in such a way that it's also environmentally responsible and socially beneficial, particularly for the local communities. Um, on that note, you know, this is Global Landscapes Forum and a big word that we employ C4 is landscapes approach and working across sectors. How important is that coming forth, you know, just to reach these communities out of these silos? You know, how important, uh, I mean, what does landscape approach mean to you and how important is it in right. your work through your yeah. organization? Uh, so what that means for me in, a, uh, in one word is scale. Um, and scale is critically important. Um, what we have found is that working on individual projects or even working in isolation as single, single actors, uh, there's only so much we can do. So even if we're able to achieve a little bit of good there, what happens in the rest of the landscape? Do we just displace? the unsustainable practices from one area to another and celebrate small successes uh, while the larger trends across the landscape are not very encouraging at all. So I think that the whole uh, shift in focus from uh, project-based approaches or site-specific approaches to the landscape level uh, is key.